Hello everybody, this is our eighth and final video solution to Super Quiz 3, our last Maclaurin series problem. So here we're asked to compute a very strange integral, it's actually something called a Fresnel integral, where we're integrating the function sine of t squared from 0 to, well, variable x. Now, the big problem here is that we can't actually find an elementary antiderivative for sine of t squared. And so if we want to integrate this using the fundamental theorem, we have a teensy little problem. However, however, if we convert sine of t squared into a Maclaurin series, then we can integrate it term by term and then evaluate between 0 and x. So that's what we're going to do. So a quick reminder that if I had sine of x, then we can write down the Maclaurin series for it. So this will be a sum and we'll start at zero. So uh, you know it's alternating. So let's get a little alternator in there. It's gonna be divided by something and then we'll have an X to the something. And what is the something? Well, if we started writing it down, you have x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial minus plus, etc. You see, oh, that's right. We get the odd powers. So I'm going to want to put up here something like 2n plus 1. And I can check when n is 0. I get a 1. Okay, that's the right starting point. And then whatever this exponent is, the factorial is on the bottom and it matches. So this will be 2n plus 1 factorial. Now, if I want to get sine of t squared, I just replace the x with a t squared. So sine of t squared will be the sum starting at 0. We have an alternator over 2n plus 1 factorial, and then I'll have t squared to the 2n plus 1 power. And at this point, you need to be very, very careful because it's very easy for people to mess up uh, this t squared to the 2n plus 1 power. I see a lot of people putting down uh, t to the 2n plus 3, other such uh, stuff, but it's not, right? We have to multiply these exponents together and we'll get t to the 4n plus 2. All right, now, if I want to integrate sine squared from 0 to x, I can instead integrate this power series. So the integral from 0 to x of sine of t squared dt is going to be the integral from 0 to x of this series. And the cool part about this series is that almost all of it has nothing to do with t. Okay, It's just this one little piece at the end of this t to the 4n plus 2 power. Which means when I swap the integral and the summation, the summation can drag along this extra coefficient, this minus 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial. So I'm going to get a series starting at 0, minus 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 factorial, and then I'm going to integrate from 0 to x just t to the 4n plus 2 dt. And that's going to be really, really easy. Okay, so I'll copy in my, my series. Okay, and so what's left in here? So when I integrate t to the 4n plus 2, I'm going to get 1 over 4n plus 3 times t to the 4n plus 3. And then I want to evaluate this between 0 and x. Now when t is equal to 0, I'm going to get 0 to a power who's no less than 3. So that's just going to give me a 0. So I'm only going to get anything at x. Right? And that's easy. I just put the x in. And so let's put this all together now. I get a series. On top, I'm going to have an alternator. On the bottom, I'll have 2n plus 1 factorial times 4n plus 3. And then I'll have x raised to the 4n plus 3 power. And there we go. We've computed the integral of sine of t squared from 0 to x. That is, we have computed the Fresnel integral and written it in terms of a power series. All right, everybody, uh, keep studying, and you're going to keep on getting better. I just know it.